everybody, Devin here again. And in today's guitar lesson, I wanna teach y'all how to play that bluegrass ending lick that I just played, this one right here. I think it's a cool lick. It's a great way to end the bluegrass song. And first things first, if you're not watching this on my website and you're on YouTube, click the link below the YouTube video player. Head over there, download the tablature to this lick. You'll really need to refer to the tablature as we're going through this. It's gonna make it a lot easier. But if you're on my site, you're set and ready to go. So anyways, let's start learning this lick. Uh, this lick is best played over a G major open chord. And I just wanna illustrate how this lick can be used to end a song using a pretty common bluegrass chord progression. So here's the chord progression that we're going to be playing. You're going to start out with two bars of G, then one bar of C, then one bar of D, and then end with two bars of G, and then start it over again. So G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, D, two, And that's one round of the chord progression. So when you're playing, using this lick to end the song, instead of playing those last two bars of G, you're just gonna play this lick instead, and then that's how you're gonna end it. So this is what it's gonna sound like with the ending. One, two, three, four. And when you start this lick, you're actually not gonna start this lick immediately when you switch to the G chords. You're actually gonna start it before you switch to those last two G chords. You're gonna start it when you're still playing the D major chord. And I'll show you when you're gonna switch. I'll kind of count it out. So D and two and three and four and. It's on that last and. D and two and three and four and For all those quick learners out there, let me just play through the whole lick a few times just a little bit slower. You can follow those tabs, kind of learn it that way. Here we go. One thing that's kind of fun to do, makes it sound a little more dynamic, is to emphasize the picks on each downbeat. So in the downbeats, if you're not too familiar with music theory, downbeats are when you count each note, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, you know, etc. So it's gonna sound kind of like this when you emphasize it. One. interesting to just playing it straight up you know play it like this makes it 
sound a little more country and bluegrass. And one more thing that kind of helps me with my flat picking and hitting these notes up on the high E string accurately. I kind of had trouble with that at first, but what helped me, you might not like this, you might like it. I didn't really like this technique at first, but now I really like it. It, it builds up my, my accuracy when I'm picking. And what it is, is I, I uh, anchor my, my left or my right pinky, sorry, right pinky right there, kind of on the guitar. You can't really see it that well. Well, you can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. And I, I don't overemphasize this, like mash it down, but it's kind of just resting there. It gives me a, a resting point. So it makes it easier to kind of know where I'm at on the guitar and I can play a lot faster for some reason. I don't know why, but it helps me play faster. Now when I'm learning a brand new lick, usually I try to break that lick up into two or three different parts, wherever it makes sense to kind of divide it. And so this one, I think there's just two main parts that you can chop it um, and kind of learn it a little easier that way. First part is this one. So let me play that a couple times a little slower and just memorize that part first. Here's the second part. All right, that concludes the lesson. Hopefully this helped y'all out, pushed y'all to learn something new. If y'all like this lick, there's gonna be plenty more posted to my website. Lots of cool learning materials over there. I would definitely check it out. I'm going to be putting together full-length song videos, teaching how to play lead guitar from the very ground up, um, from very beginner stuff all the way to more advanced stuff. So check it out. I think it's going to be awesome. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all over there and see you all next lesson.